Welcome back to another exciting episode of Jamdong Drones. Today we're going to be looking at the first thing to do right after you've bought your DJI Mini SE, which is to install the DJI Fly app. All you need to know about the DJI Fly app installation. If you've just bought the DJI Mini SE, the next thing on your to-do list is to make sure that you have the DJI Fly app installed. It is true that you're going to need this app for the controller to be able to send you video images as well as picture images from the drone. So it's very important that we install it right away. Now there's a very simple way we can do this and it can be done by just turning the box to the side here that the drone comes in. Normally it comes with a QR code and uh, this QR code will take us to the site where we can download the APK, that's the Android uh, application, that's the DJI Fly app, to our phone and then we'll have it to use on the app. So right here where the QR code is, is where we are focusing now. And just to be able to read this QR code, we're going to need to use our phone and uh, we're going to need to make a little installation from Play Store. So if you're following along, you might want to open Play Store and what we're typing in is QR code. So the QR code app will be able to read this QR code that is on the box and it should take us to the download page. Now the QR code and barcode reader is what I'm installing and uh, we're just giving it a moment or two to install a little of this procedure. Alright, so that's installed and we're moving back to the phone. We're just going to tap on the app. It needs permission to run so we're going to click while using the app so we'll just use that first option and then it should be opened now what we want to do is to point our camera to the QR code that is located on the box which should take us to that page as I mentioned before so I'm just turning the box around to make sure that it's lined up and we're bringing it just a bit closer so the camera can get a good look at it and there it is just like that guys we're in so we're actually at the site right now and this is the website that we go We're just going to click the download button. We're downloading the APK and we're just giving it a moment or two to install just like any other APK that you download on your phone. Now once it is there we'll see this app icon appear and this is the DJI Fly app icon. Alright so we're just going to click on that and we still have a couple more procedures to go. We're going to need to enter a bit more information as it relates to ourselves now. If you're installing an APK to your device for the first time, you might encounter a little bit of a challenge in that you'll have to enable uh, install from unknown sources, which is found in your settings option under security. So if it's not installing right away, you might want to enable that feature. So right now the app is installing on the phone here. And we're just giving it some time. There it is. So just as I was saying before, the settings we'll need to enable allow from the source which is including uh, installing APKs from unknown sources outside of Google Play Store. Once we enable that we can go back and when we go back we should be able to install normally. So I'm just hit that install button and there it goes guys. So it's installing now. I'm just giving it a moment or two. This app is not really that big as, as, as you're starting out but as you go on and you take videos and so on, the size that the or the storage that the app takes up will increase. All right, so you may want to pay close attention to that. So now that the app is installed, we're just going to click open, and uh, we're getting a white screen here. It's still loading, guys. So while that is loading, let's give it a second. And the first window we see popping up should prompt us to agree to something, which is an agreement. So while that is loading, just giving you a little bit of a spoiler alert there. So let that know. There we go. So that is the term of use. And we're just scrolling through quickly. If you have the time, you can read it. But uh, you'll have to agree to get to the next step. So I'm just going to click agree. And again, it's stating the permission that it's going to be using while it's running. We're okay with that. So we click set all. 
and then of course we're going to enable this while using the app so we're choosing the first option at the top depending on what your device is you might see it worded differently but you want to allow this we're also going to allow the location for it to read the location and for it to use other parts of our phone while we're using this app all right so it's installing now And now that it is installed, this is the startup, uh, the startup feature or the startup video that we see. So this is pretty cool, just giving us a short synopsis, and we're clicking next. Now it shows us a, a list of what it will be using as it relates to our device. So it uses our GPS, it uses the hardware info, and it also uses the location info of the phone in order to work properly on our phone. So we're just going to click next. And uh, this is the DJI product improvement project, which allows our phone to send information back to DJI headquarters in terms of the performance of the app and all of that. So we can click join or you can click not now if you're not interested. But for my purpose, I'm going to click join. So here I go. And then this is the login page of the DJI Fly app. So you want to use uh, Google gmail that you have maybe your personal gmail or if you want you can create a new one and you can use it in this section here so while you're entering your gmail you want to pay close attention to your password as well because you're going to need this information should you uninstall this app or if you're reinstalling this app to a different device after completing the login process you will be brought to this screen where you are able to go through the album and go through other functions of the app but for this video we're not going to be going through the functions but just the installation now to complete the process you want to ensure that your controller is binded to the drone and that both devices are powered on ensure too that the phone or the device that you're using is connected to the remote controller and that everything is responding now once that happens, you'll be allowed to see through the gimbal by looking at the phone. So the phone will provide the display connecting to the gimbal of or drone. And that should complete the process of installing the DJI Fly app to your device.